Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to the second vlogette about my move. So this is, again, an informal Friday, or whatever you want to call it, for you guys that want to see more of me being a real person, rather than just like this educating machine in front of a really awesome backdrop that I kind of like now. So in this video, it's all with the GoPro, I mean all the vlog from me driving or with the GoPro. And this one it's like just me in the truck, so the audio is, you know. Um, so I thought that I would at least film the intro and the outro with my nice camera so that you could have a little bit of good audio. Also, there's not gratuitous Ubi in this video, so Ubi, come here. So we'll get some Ubi in right now, and we'll get some Ubi in at the end of the video. <laughs> Because you gotta have Ubi, especially in an informal video. So, also, a lot of you, okay, hold on. <laughs> Put Ubi down. Good job. Also, a lot of you have been asking why I moved. And since I didn't talk about that in the vlog itself while I was moving, some good background noise. Since I didn't talk about why I moved in the video, in the vlog itself, I thought I would just tell you guys really quick during the intro, which is turning out to be a very long intro, why I moved. So the reason I moved, there's a couple. My lease was up, not a big fan of Florida, but the main reason was that I was able to get a really good deal on rent up here in Massachusetts. That was the primary motivation because I need to save as much money as I can for Bite Size Vegan because at this point it's still not sustainable. Oh wow, I don't even have my chapstick on. I can't believe you're not seeing me without my makeup of my chapstick. Now I look really good. At this point, Bite Size Vegan is not yet sustainable financially, so it's kind of bleeding money. And I'm hoping through, you know, people joining Patreon, the Nugget Army, and also I'm working on a series of e-courses. The e-courses I'm super excited about. It's actually going to be, I'm going I'm to try to create an entire academy of vegan resources for people. But that's done, that's that's coming, so just stay tuned. Hopefully, that will help Bite Size Vegan stay going so that I don't have to stand out on a street corner. I wouldn't be spreading the vegan message. I'd be spreading something, but not the vegan message. Anyways, on to the vlog, get. So I've been trying to stay active on social media um, to give you guys a little bit of something while I'm absent from YouTube. You know, when I'm not on YouTube and in between things, a good way to find me is on social media. Especially if you like the vlogging style, then you'll like that because I share, you know, different photos about like what I'm doing, um, sometimes like my meals I'll share. When Bite Size Vegan was still really new, I... Uh, I signed up for a Twitter account. I didn't know how to use it. And I was so overwhelmed that I closed it down after two hours. I just I just canceled the account. I couldn't handle it. So I finally got a smartphone a couple months ago and uh, grew some balls and opened up a Twitter account. If it wasn't for Bite Size Vegan, I wouldn't be on social media. I'm actually not even a technology person. I, I am kind of tech phobic. Technology freaks me out. I'm really awkward in social situations. Uh, I have a lot of social anxiety. I don't understand trends. I still don't understand hashtags. So sometimes, if nothing else, you can follow me on um, on social media just to make fun of my hashtag usage. I have no idea what I'm doing with hashtags. So I think I I make up one. But the reason that I'm on social media, the reason that I do all of that, and that I I. Um, challenge myself with technology is because my activism I want to do whatever I can do to reach the most people and make the biggest difference for the animals and like it or not in today's society the way to reach people is through technology and through social media because that's where everyone is spending the majority of their time you know we're a visual culture um, and we're a very tech savvy culture that I missed the vote on. Um, so I, I need to meet people where they're at so that I can be the most effective advocate for the animals that I can be. I'm willing to face my tech fears and to challenge myself and 
kind of live in a constant state of anxiety because whatever discomfort I'm going through with like silly things like trying to figure out how to tweet properly, you know, that is nothing. That's nothing, you know, but I, when I think about what the animals are going through on a daily basis, I have nothing to complain about. You know, I've had a lot of challenges in my life. I think most people have. Um, I continue to have a lot of challenges. Nothing I could ever go through will come close to what the animals are going through. Even when I got branded, even when I shaved my head and was branded with a cattle iron, that's still the tip of the iceberg of what the animals are going through, you know, because I chose to be branded. They don't have a choice in the matter. And they're not only are they branded, but then their lives are taken from them brutally, you know. Um, and I was, I was voluntarily branded. I was aware of what was happening to me. And I got to go home and nurse my wounds. You know, I, and it was scary for me and it was very painful for me. And imagine if that happened to you and you had no idea what was going on. You had no way to communicate your fear or to ask what was going on. Or basically, your communication wasn't heard. It wasn't acknowledged. You know, there's that, that famous quote that animals, I think it's by Alice Walker. Um, she has a lot of great quotes. She's unfortunately kind of revised her position about animals, but the quotes themselves are still good. But she said um, something like, you know, animals do know how, animals do know how to communicate, or animals do know how to talk, and they do, and most of the time they are ignored, which is true. So, with this branding experience, you can imagine, you know, animals do try to tell us that they're afraid. You know, they cry out, but we don't listen to them, you know, so we got on a big rant again. Um, basically, you know, I just, whatever I go through is nothing compared to what they're going through, and that keeps me motivated to keep trying to make a difference for the animals in whatever way that I can. Um, because they deserve it. They deserve they deserve for me to do whatever I can and for me to push myself through every kind of discomfort for them. The funny thing too about the branding experience is and I wrote a whole article about this. I'll post a link to that in the in the video description, but I wrote a whole article about how the main reaction I got from people was that, oh that's so extreme. Like, how could you do something so extreme? It's funny to me that they think it's extreme for me to voluntarily brand myself in a controlled, safe manner after researching and planning it out for four months. But that's extreme. And what I pointed out was like, I think, you know, I, I don't think what I'm doing is extreme. The reason I'm doing it is to point to the things that are extreme. It's extreme that we do this to, to billions of animals every year. You know, not voluntarily. You know, we're doing this to animals every single day. Not giving them any choice in the matter. This is forcefully done to them. And this is just the beginning of what we do to them. Not only do we brand them, but we hold them captive. We torture them, we take them away from their families, and then we kill them, we murder them, violently. That's extreme. And we're doing it, what, for a meal? That's what's extreme. Separating a mother from her child, that's extreme. So that we can steal her milk. Milk that we don't even need, and that actually is physically harmful to us, that's extreme. That's just crazy, honestly. So, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these rants. I might need to start, I've had a couple people tell me that I need to start a vlog channel, 
and I just thought, you know, I don't have the time. But I think that's because I I want to do everything perfectly and extremely. Like I want everything to be captioned. Like I type out the transcripts and the captions for all of my videos. Um, so maybe I'll start a blog channel and I just, it's just not going to be perfect. Like I won't have it captioned. I feel bad about that though because I do have some deaf viewers and I would like them to be able to follow along. But I just, I won't have the time to type out the captions for for vlog videos. Um, so we'll see. I will talk to you guys soon. So I hope you enjoyed my second vlog it of moving. There's probably going to be one more. Probably one more. So stay tuned for that. And if you like seeing me be a total dork like this, then definitely join up on Patreon. Um, you can do it as little as a dollar a month. Or you can even sign up for my newsletter for free at my website. And you get these kind of ridiculous informal videos from me a lot more often. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear what you thought about my branding experience, um, and also if you're also tech phobic or have social media issues, let me know about them in the comments below. Or if you're like a social media guru and you just love it, I'd love to hear your own experience with those type of things. And also, you know, share this video around if you want. That'd be cool too as well. If you're new here, do a vegan a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday and Wednesday and some Fridays. Lately, every Friday, but that's not always the case. We'll see. If you like seeing me being more of a natural human being and you wanna support what I'm doing with my educational videos and the Bite Size Vegan Mission to educate for the liberation of animals, you can join us in the Nugget Army on Patreon by hitting that logo there or the support link in the video description below. We've got a great group of people over there. And if you're not into that, you can always sign up for the newsletter for free and get my ebook for free, cause that's awesome. And while you're here, be sure to check out some of my other videos. You can entertain yourself on the YouTubes. So now this video is really long because I prattled on during the intro and now the outro. Now, before you leave, we need a little more Ubi. Now go live vegan and we'll see you soon. What is on your face? It's like you've got a big dog zit. Don't turn that way. Don't let them see. You've gotta, you've gotta stay beautiful. Maybe you can go stand on a street corner. You're pretty cute. I'm sure you'd bring in some, bring in some dough. That's not very vegan of me.